is a special holiday on the island of Sodor. Bertie the bus was working harder than ever before. All the engines were busy too. He grumbled. I wouldn't have brought them if I'd known. I'd have had a breakdown or something. I'm glad you didn't, smiled Duck. You'd have spoiled their fun. Ah, enjoyment is all you engines live for. One day, railways will be ripped up. Duck felt shocked at such an idea. We have a friend called Bertie, and he's a bus, but he likes the railway. Sometimes he teases us about it, but he never wants to see it ripped up. Huh? I know, Percy. He's too small in size to be of any use. Duck took no notice. That was silly, he thought. At the junction, Duck told Oliver all about him. I call him Bulgy, chuckled Oliver. Then he puffed lap of the way. met again. Oliver was no longer laughing. Bulgy's friend has come, he said. He's rude too. He's taking Bulgy's passengers home so as to leave Bulgy free to steal ours. But he can't, objected Dunn. Bulgy says he can get them to the big station before us. Rubbish, replied Dunn. It's much further by road. Yes, continued Oliver, but Bulgy says he knows a shortcut. were preparing for the homeward rush. Where are the passengers? They wondered. Look! Shrilled the Look at Bulgy! He's a mean scarlet deceiver! Bulgy was wearing a large sign saying railway bus. Yahoo stops! He's rolled away. Come on! Both ducks and his coaches, let's see what he's up to. Shortcut, chuckled Duck. He tricked us. He tricked us, shouted Bulgy's passengers. He said he was a railway bus, but he wouldn't accept. But he wouldn't accept our return tickets. He wanted us to think railways are no good. Duck's crew examined the bridge. It's risky, but we must help the passengers. Passengers are urgent, agreed Duck. Duck slowly and carefully set off across the bridge. Bulgy wailed as he felt the bridge quiver. Stop! He shouted. He might fall on me! That would serve you right for telling lies, said Doug. But the bridge didn't collapse. is now many, but not unfortunately. Bulgy had his ways, but he never learned sense. He's a hen house now, and his lies can do no harm. The hens never listen to them anyway. 